Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys an introduction to picture and text wrapping in Microsoft Word. So basically, text wrapping is just a way that you can modify how words and images interact in a Word document. So it's easier just to kind of give an example here. So I have a bunch of text up at the top, and I also have a picture here. So if you want to go ahead and just right click on the image, and select wrap text. You can also select the little icon next to the text as well. You have different options here to modify. So by selecting the image, there's a little option on the right side that's a little wrap op that says layout options. Go ahead and select that. So it says with text wrapping, different options here. So if you want to do it square with the text around it, you just go ahead and move the image over the text and you see the text will move around the image. Just going through the different options here. The second option would be tight, so it'll just move it a little bit tighter to the side of the image. It's not going to really change the formatting, but it just will not provide as much of a blank space in between the text. Other options here, if you want to select through, so if you just want to see right through the image, let me just go make sure I selected the right option there. You can select the top and bottom, so again, it'll just go right to the top or the bottom of the image. It won't wrap around it. And then you also can set it to show up behind the text, so the text will come through the image. So if you change the color of the text here, you see it does come through. It's just a little hard to tell due to the little contrast you have with the image and the text here. And one final option here as well, you can also select the in front of text option, so the image just comes up right in front of it. You can't see it all and just missing the text right behind. So pretty straightforward process on that one, guys. And as always, thank you for watching. Do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.